a 350 by 450 millimeter engine, a uh, steam engine. Okay, so right off the bat, we are given our bore and stroke. Bore is 350 millimeters. And the stroke, we have 450. Okay, steam engine running at 280 RPM. Sounds like that's our revolutions per minute. Designated as capital N. Has a clearance condition of 2 MPA and 230C and exits at 0.1 MPA. Properties for those are given here. Steam consumption is 2000 kilograms per hour and mechanical efficiency is 0.85. So our steam consumption would be 2000 kilograms per hour. And uh, dividing, by, dividing that by a thousand or rather 3,600, this becomes 0 0.5556 kilograms per second. And here we're also given our mechanical efficiency of 0 0.85. And um, if indicated mean effective pressure is 600 kPa, determine the brake thermal efficiency, also known as the overall efficiency. First, let's write our indicated mean effective pressure. And we're trying to find brake thermal efficiency in percent. So let's see. To get the overall efficiency we need, our work net or the output over QA, also known as the input. But in this case, network is simply our brake power over the heat added by the steam. So in order to find our brake power, we need to find our indicated power multiplied by the mechanical efficiency. We already have our mechanical efficiency, but to get IP, we need to multiply our indicated mean effective pressure by the volume displacement. So we already have our IMAP, and we just need to find our volume displacement or VD. Formula for the volume displacement is pi over 4. Ball, uh, ball is raised to 2, multiplied by uh, the stroke, multiplied by our RPM over 60, and finally multiplied by our piston stroke. And uh, since this is a steam engine, it has two piston strokes, so n is equal to 2. Now we just put the values in. And we should get 0 0.4041 cubic meters per second. Okay, so now we can get our indicated power. So that is simply... 600 kPa multiplied by our volume displacement. Two four two point forty six kilowatts. Okay, so now we can find our brake power. The brake power simply our indicated power multiplied by our mechanical efficiency. Oh, just write that down actually. 0 0.85. 0 0.85. 
we got a value of 206.091 kilowatts for our brake power. And now we just need to find, okay, we have the brake power. And since this is a steam engine, enthalpies will be involved. So this is just MS multiplied by the difference in the enthalpies between the exit and, or rather the entrance and the exit. And uh, we already have all of these in the givens as well. So once again, Q sub A is equal to 0 0.5556 multiplied by the difference in enthalpies. Seventeen point oh, this one right here. Seventeen point forty six kilojoules per kilogram. Then just put that in our calculator. One thousand three hundred fifty one point let's say three. And uh, finally, our brake thermal efficiency. Uh, here's the formula. So we just put in the values. And according to our calculator, that would be 206.091, 1351.3. And there we have it. 15.25. And that is our final answer. I hope this helped. Consider liking, subscribing, and supporting me on Patreon. Thanks and good luck.